first of all, what is your reaction to what happened on October the 7th? Oh, it was terrible, of course. I mean, we kind of get our news kind of also secondhand because, you know, my, my wife's family, they live in Gaza. They actually have uh, cousins and uncles there, um, and uh, their house also was bombed. We haven't been able to communicate with them for the past three days. Communication are lost. So uh, we don't know actually what is the, uh, how, is, like, how are they doing, but, you know, we're used to that. I mean, it's, it's just like, it's... It's, it's very repetitive. We're used to that. We're used to them being bombed every time and moving from one place to the other. Uh, you know, it's just like those Palestinians, they're very dramatic. Ah, Israel killing us. Uh, but they never die. I mean, they always come back. You know, they're, they're very difficult to kill, very difficult people to kill. I, I know because I'm married to one. Mm. I tried many times, couldn't kill her. So if you look to this graph, for example, this is the death of Israeli and Palestinians. And it's changing from one year to year. It's like fluctuating like crypto. So my question is today, what is the going rate today for human lives? I mean, 2014 was a great year for Ben Shapiro. 88 Israelis were died and there was 2,329 Palestinians killed on the other side. That is one Israeli for 27 uh, uh, Palestinian. That is a very good exchange rate. What I'm saying is, what is the exchange rate well, for I, today? Well, I, so I, you guys will be happy. That's my question. Well, it's not me, I, I it's not me guys. I, I don't, I'm not on either no, side. No, 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 not you. Like when I yeah. say you guys, I say like the people on the other side of that. I know that you, you don't think like that. You're one of the good guys. But let me tell you something. I mean, I'm, the reason that I'm, I'm using this is that, I mean, I, I can't remember what happened in 2014 and there was no music festival, but there, were, there must be something. I mean, they must do something. It is their fault. It has to be something. I mean, 2018, 300 Palestinians died. Ah, who's counting, you know? Uh, but the, the, so the thing is, what my question is, let's find what is the exchange rate for human life today so we know, expect the future death of Palestinians and we'll be happy to it. If you were Israel, what would uh, you... If I was Israel. If you were Israel and that had happened to you, what would you uh -huh. think would be the appropriate way for the country to respond? I would do exactly like Israel did, kill as many people as possible since the, the, the world is letting me do it. I mean, I, I can do it because I can, you know. But the thing is, like, you know what, I agree with you. And you know what, I'm going to be even ahead of you because I see the question coming. Do you condemn Hamas for the atrocities? Yes, I condemn Hamas. Mm. I condemn Hamas. I condemn Hamas. Hamas is the source of all evil. They are a reason for everything. And you know what, let's for a minute... Imagine a world without Hamas. Right. What will this word look like? Mm. Let's give this word a name and let's name this word the West Bank. Hamas has absolutely no control in the West Bank. And since the beginning of this street, only through August, 37 Palestinian kids were killed. Mm. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. Since the occupation of the West Bank, 7,000 Palestinians were killed. No music festival, no paragliding, no Hamas. Mm. I can go on and on and on and on. No, no, but you about, don't, you don't need the to. And the, the thing is, it is, it is not like something new. I mean, I, I, I look at history and I see, I'm sorry to say, and I'm sorry to say this, but Westerners has, has always dealt like this with indigenous people. You first treated them like savages, you know, Native American, First Nation, Aboriginal. They're savages. Kill all the savages. And then when they're almost extinct, you start feeling sorry for them, you know, like animals. So maybe, maybe the solution is that we kill as many Palestinians as possible so that few of them that remains do not bother you. And you maybe keep, Netanyahu, you keep talking about, for, it, for another Hussein, 100 years, let me just challenge he'll you on become this. a tree hugger. Let me just challenge you on this. And he will campaign right, for, listen, for, for, for you, preserving you keep, the three Palestinians. You keep talking about... Yeah. I want to understand what is the logic of Israel carpet bombing Gaza. I mean, if there is a logic, if it is a good, if this will make Israel safe, I want to hear the logic. So if they continue bombing, what are they hoping to achieve? Well, what, we, know what what we know what their stated aim is. Their stated aim is to eradicate yes. and wipe out Hamas. They believe Hamas no, are, yeah, living, but, are living predominantly in northern Gaza. They also are aware they're living amongst civilians. So it's an incredibly difficult okay. thing. As, so, I said, as I said in my so monologue, so, 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 you know, it is so very, very so difficult to see how I, they I, do I, this I, without I, massive collateral damage. Can, uh, so if I can understand this correctly, basically Israel is doing this to pressure the Palestinian community in Gaza to turn against Hamas. Is that right? I'm sure that's part of it, yes. That's part of it. So this is exactly what terrorist organizations do, because terrorist organizations will have no chance beating a whole nation in battle. So they terrorize and they kill the civilians in order to spread fear and terror so they can turn against their government to change their policy or 
to resign. You have just compared Israel with ISIS. No, I haven't. I don't, th I don't see any comparison between it's Israel It's going to be the headlines tomorrow. Piers yeah, Morgan, no, not, Israel not. is ISIS. Lot only, of only amongst people. You know what? I'm going to do something that nobody done on your television. Mm. You know what I'm going to do I'm on your episode? I'm going to do, I'm going to pretend that I'm an Israeli citizen. I'm going to put my my, myself in the, in the place of an Israeli settler in the kibbutz. And I want to speak to my prime minister, Benjamin Netanyahu. Mm -hmm. Mr. Benjamin Netanyahu, I have voted for you because you have promised us peace and prosperity and security. On the 7th of October, those son of bitches Hamas, they went into the fence that is regularly heavy, heavily guarded. Usually if there's like a, a, a dove that comes close to it, it will be shot. Mm. Those people went in and they went for six hours before IDF forces was deployed, killing our friends, our families, kidnapping our grandmothers and babies and went in. I want to ask you, Mr. Prime Minister, after you have fractured the Israeli community and you have fucked our courts, our Supreme Courts, what are you doing with the money being given to you, to the United States? Also, you are carpet bombing Gaza with absolutely no regard to our hostages, our people. I heard a rumor in the kibbutz that you're doing that as an, you let that happen to, as an excuse to carpet bomb Gaza, so you push them into Sinai. And I didn't believe it. That's like, not my prime minister. He can never do that. And then I watched an interview for Danny Ayelon. He was your chief advisor. He was also the Israeli ambassador to the United States. And you know what he said, Mr. Prime Minister? He said that the solution for those Palestinians is to go into a vast land of Sinai and live into 10 cities temporarily, huh? Temporarily, wink, wink, until we build Gaza again, and then we invite you back. We've seen this movie before. So, and, I, and when I saw this, I couldn't explain to my fellows in the kibbutz, how come our Israeli government is trading human lives for another piece of land? So as an Israeli citizen, I need to hold my Israeli government accountable. The thing is, this is the problem. Israel always victimizes itself. And I have never seen a victim putting their oppressor under siege and bombing them 24-7. Israel wants you to believe that they are the victim. Is, dealing with Israel is so difficult. It's like being in a relationship with a narcissistic psychopath. He fucks you up and then he makes you think it's your fault. All right, you Basim. look at Israel as Superman, but they're really Homelander. Well, they, are like, they, are, you, you, they are shooting Basim, fish in a barrel and they are annoyed with the splashes. The question is, how can you justify the killing in the West Bank where Hamas does not exist? And if the disproportionate response uh, during the, uh, over all of these years have actually worked, so what will be new this time that did not happen before? I okay. just want to, uh, that, 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 that was my question. Okay, that Basim, was my question. Uh, I'm going to Okay, I'm so, gonna so, so, so now, so well, Basim, now, so now I if to... I ask the question, can I, can I say something on my side? Well, a little you've, bit personal? No, Basim, with respect, a little bit personal? Basim, with respect, I gave you uh, half the show to have your side. Jeremy's had a lot less time. Uh, I'm going to have to You want me on. to leave? Basim, I'm going to have stay? to. I'm going to have to let you go because we've been on there with you for 40 minutes. Oh, okay, now, bye right? bye. But listen, bye bye. bye I'd bye. like to talk to you again, bye and bye. thank you for joining the program. I appreciate it. Oh, by by by, by the way, my, my my wife's family is is all right, and they sent us a house. It's it's bombed. It's beautiful. It's it's going to be a good uh, uh, like Halloween theme. So well, thank you. I'm very sorry for what your family are going through in Gaza, and I mean oh, that no. very sincerely. By the way, I don't know. I, I don't know my. Fa I don't know him. By the way, I don't. I haven't actually met them. They didn't even come to my wedding. They couldn't because they are stuck in Gaza. Okay. And she never saw them because, you know, Gaza is not a destination. Basim, I, as I know, say, we, I, we, we, we hear their voices. Yeah, it's, uh, they, they die. It's fine. It's I'm, fine. Basim, I wish your family all the very best. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate I, it. I, I don't. Thank you.